Hi, I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Osprey Arcane Large Day Pack V2, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Head on over to packhacker.com for the full written review, links in the description below. Let's dive in. Okay, so we will start off just quickly covering the materials of this bag, and it's made of a 500D Blue Sign recycled polyester pack cloth, and it feels really good. The fact that it's recycled is great. Um, it's pretty durable. I mean, you're not going to be able to throw this thing around like some other higher denier bags, um, but it should be fine for what this bag is is predominantly going to be used for, which is just you know carrying bits and bobs around. Um, it, I almost kind of class this thing as like a school bag, um, even though I've used it, you know. Um, taking my laptop out and stuff like this. It kind of, it's got that small 20 liter day pack, throw your books and your laptop and you're good to go kind of thing. So for the materials it's made out of, it's perfectly fine really. Um, and it does feel nice, that pack cloth um, gives it um, more of an urban kind of look and, and I've been digging it so far. The yellow is definitely a pretty bold color, um, but I like it, especially when you've got like a black jacket on or something, this yellow really pops, but they do also make loads of different other colors if the honeybee yellow, I think it's called, is not to your taste. Um, and then the other kind of components we've got going on are actually really nice. So down here, we've got these metal um, hardware components and these metal ones are Duraflex, which We've had great experiences with, nothing bad to say about there. We've never come across these kind of metal ones before, which is nice. Um, and then the zippers here are all, they look kind of exactly the same material as the, um, the same kind of metal as the Duraflex buckles at the bottom here. Um, but these ones are YKK and they're really great. They're nice zippers, they feel good. And they also kind of really help the aesthetic of this bag, I think. So some quality hardware going on as well from Osprey here. And just to quickly kind of cover, this is Osprey's white label. So it's this more urban kind of style. Um, it's, you know, born from the outdoors. Osprey is a brand. They make some really great hiking and travel backpacks. And they've recently started doing this white label, which is these kind of more urban, um, you know, go walk around the city and or go to school and grab your bag and you're good to go. And, and we've actually been pretty digging them over here at Pack Hacker. We've been pretty impressed with the whole range so far. And this large day pack is the V2. I actually really liked the V1 of this bag, but they've, you know, mixed some things up. They've changed the kind of front access pocket and a few other little features around the bag, and it's, it's definitely an improvement, but both versions are really nice. Then externally, something is probably my favorite thing about this bag is this side water bottle pocket here. So I'll just take it out, and this one's an 18 ounce. Um, it does slide out a little bit easier than that. It's just my weird positioning, so I'll throw that to the side. But you can see it's a pretty decently sized water bottle. Um, but what I love about it is when you take it out, it doesn't look like it has a water bottle pocket, and that's really cool. It, it completely sinks in with the bag, and that's a nice little feature. So it's kind of there if you need to use it, and it's completely not if you don't want to. And even when it's in, you can kind of hide. It's got a water bottle pocket because the access is from the bag. And I just think it's a really kind of intuitive way of, of including one and, and the mesh, stretchy mesh works well. Then across the back here, we've got the harness system. This is a nice padding, um, really soft. Um, you know, it's just good for what you're gonna be carrying. Nothing's gonna be crazy heavy in this bag and it's really comfortable when you're wearing it. You know, it's, it's not that big of a bag. It's not too long, too wide. It's not gonna be too heavy. So just a nice solid harness system is all you need. And this is exactly what it delivers. We've got this little stretchy pocket here that I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be used for. Um, I haven't used it at all, um, but it's there if you need to. I don't know if you've got some AirPods maybe, you wanna pop them in there. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but nice to have, again, I didn't really, utilize it or notice it when it's when it's there. So that's fine. Then um, we have these, or at least one, we have a little buckle um, here, which you can take off. And I actually didn't know what this was for when we were um, reviewing the first one. I couldn't quite figure it out, but we were told in the, um, you know, by other people that you can hook this around a chair. 
so a little so say you're at school for instance or the cafeteria you can take this bag off hook this around the bottom of a chair and it's kind of secure no one can kind of come and run and, and grab and take it away and that's actually quite a nice little feature so this one doesn't come off at all but it's just kind of that security feature and we like it i mean i, I haven't had to use it myself but it's kind of a cool little thing that that they've um implemented here osprey and not the easiest thing to get back on the little um, strap is actually quite a small hole to get back on. Let me see if I can do it. Probably not the most entertaining, <laughs> but there we go. Back on now. And yeah, let's flip this back over to the front and we'll kind of take a look, little look inside. Oh, and just quickly, it's got this top handle here, which is perfectly fine for a top handle. I'm have, you know, quite happy to carry it around like this. If you're just taking it very quickly or you're lifting it up, something like that. Um, yeah, nice little padding and fits in with the bag quite well. Then taking a look inside of the bag, we've got this nice big front pocket here. This is a pretty simple bag and nice little front pocket is great for all of your quick grab items. So I've just got my keys, I've got a wallet and I've got my AirPods. So all the stuff that I may need quickly. Then um, yeah, some really good room in here as well. So I love a quick grab pocket on a bag like this just because there are items that you need quick access to. Then something to notice on this bag is that it's not a full clamshell. It's not really a half um, horseshoe either because it kind of finishes at the top there and comes down. So it kind of opens up three quarters of the way and we're a little bit perplexed by this. Now, obviously it's because we got the water bottle pocket here, which is cool, um, but we kind of just thought it was going to be a con, but in turn, having the zips up here has actually been quite nifty because I found when I've taken this thing out as a laptop bag is I can just quickly undo this and I can grab my laptop out of the top like that. And that's been a really nice little feature. Now, I know you can do that with those other bags, but typically the zips end up here. So I always have the access, but um, yeah, just thought I'd note that. But otherwise we thought it'd be a little bit more of an issue, but the, the kind of three quarter opening um, hasn't been that much of a problem. It's, it's actually been perfectly fine, but definitely note that because it is a little bit different to other bags in that respect. Then if we take it out, I've actually just popped a pretty large tech pouch in here just to kind of show how much stuff you can fit inside. But I haven't actually needed to take this out with me often when I've been going out and I, I've just had my kind of laptop charger and stuff, which I've been able to fit in the other organization in the bag. But I wanted to throw that in there just to show you that this bag is 20 liters in it. It sits pretty, you know, minimal and, and, and thin against your back, but it can still hold a pretty good amount of stuff when you need it to. And then there's also just a nice little travel hoodie in there as well that I'll take out also. I really dig in this blue inside of this yellow version as well. Then the back here, I've got my laptop out at the moment, but this is just a 15 inch sleeve, just to show you that it fit perfectly fine into that compartment. Um, and then also there's a little front compartment here on the front. I've just got a little tablet in there as well. So you've got this padding here, which is nice. And then on the front as well, you've got a nice little Osprey logo as well there. Then you've got a zippered pocket here, which is where I've put my charger and also my iPhone charger as well in there. And I've just kind of taken that out. You have got some organization over here. I don't know why there is a key clip here at all. That just seems like a really strange decision. It's red and plastic. And I don't know why you would ever clip your keys this far inside of your bag. If I'm honest, and we weren't kind of objectively reviewing this thing and I just bought this bag personally, I'd probably cut that right out. Um, but that does sit in there. I haven't used these two little compartments. Just haven't found a need to. Um, you could pop something in there, but they're a little bit tight to access sometimes, especially when you have stuff in the back, but this zippered pocket has worked really well. Then at the bottom here, I'll just show you if you can see that the laptop compartment here stops before the bottom of the bag. So you've got a good inch, at least I would say, um, before the bottom of the bag. So it's a really great false bottom. And that means if you drop your bag, which you know you shouldn't tend to do a lot, but if you do and it hits the floor, the bottom of your laptop isn't going to hit the floor as well. So really nice thinking there from Osprey and they've, they've obviously put a lot of thinking into these kind of urban, more um, school laptop bags, um, which is really nice. And that's pretty much the inside of the bag. Um, pretty minimal when you don't have a lot of stuff in it. Like I've carried it a few times. It does sit really thin to your back and 
that's pretty much it. I will just cover quickly on, on the fabric here. There's a little black mark, not entirely sure where it's come from. And I've actually just noticed it today. Um, I'm sure if we had some kind of remover, you'd be able to get rid of that. Um, but it, it doesn't come off just by kind of a little bit of water and rubbing it. So um, it's not a great sign this is pack cloth and the lighter color, you're obviously gonna get a little bit more marks, but I just thought I'd note that after two weeks of testing, it could begin to get a little bit worse. Um, may pick up some more stuff, but ultimately not too much to worry about. So there you have it, the Osprey Arcane Large Day Pack V2. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help you support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.